As the shadows caught my eye on a sunny afternoon, my thoughts were drawn to my living room window. It is dominated by the presence of a mighty oak, an English oak. At nearly 300 years old, it has seen many things come and go. And now is the time for this season's end. But as nature's pace slows for another year, I'll look back fondly upon a summer of activity with my English oak. As another spring began, my tree became host to the biggest feast of the year. It's a time of plenty for all the wildlife in my garden. And as the competition for food intensifies, it seems even a fellow caterpillar is fair game. But not all the youngsters on my oak are in such a hurry to grow. Down among the roots, a childhood favourite of mine takes a more sedate approach to life. It's a stag beetle, or a stag beetle as it spends most of its life. Before emerging from the ground as an adult, this large larva must gain weight among the roots. And with a diet of only wood and fungi to do this, it will take him an impressive five to seven years to grow to maturity. Every year I long for an emergence, but with nature, there are no guarantees. As summer reaches full stride, the woodland beyond my garden always steals my imagination. With the oak's open canopy, light is able to reach the woodland floor and an enchanting world of wildlife flourishes. Down among the brambles flutter the specialities of this place. Woodland butterflies. The courtship dance of the silver wasp fritillary. And the simple yet striking coloration of the white admiral.
but the butterfly I anticipate the most is as elusive as it is striking. Living high up in the canopy of the tallest oaks, to spot one is as rewarding an experience as this woodland has to offer. And here it is, the purple emperor. This female has just emerged from her metamorphosis from a caterpillar and is feeding for the first time as an adult. Taking advantage of the sweet honeydew left behind by aphids, purple emperors have little need to leave the canopy for food. I was delighted to spot a male. With a flash of his iridescence, it's not difficult to see why this butterfly got its majestic name. He looks deceptively restful among the branches, but he's actually quite alert. These feisty males keep watch over territories among the treetops, and should any other male enter, he'll be ready to fight. No intruders this time. And with a quick drink, he's gone again. Back in my garden, I was happy to see that the stag beetles had made an appearance. Their development over the past years has been completely geared towards this one summer. Their adult life is short and they will have just a few months to breed before they all die. The race is on to find a mate. Competition for a mate is around every leaf and log, but skirmishes over females are what male stag beetles were built for. Some fights are easier than others. My victorious male looks upon his prize. A virgin female. Wasting little time, he moves in closer. As she moved away, I wasn't sure that the male would be welcome. But with a little persuasion, she finally accepted his advances and they began to mate. Still a little unsure, a tender caress was in order to calm the mood. With their union over, the male continued on his mission, while the female looked for a suitable place to lay her eggs. All the while, among the branches of my tree, reproduction of a different kind had been taking shape. It's developing acorns.
but not all acorns develop as intended. These nopagors are mutated acorns. Small wasps, known as gall wasps, visited my tree in early summer. They laid their eggs inside the developing acorns, genetically altering them into these strange and wonderful nurseries. Oaks are known to be one of our best hosts of galls, and this summer, my tree was no exception. As the days grow shorter, my shyest neighbour takes advantage of the encroaching darkness. Hidden in the base of my tree, a dormouse. Winter will soon be here, and for my dormouse, this means only one thing. Hibernation. Only a very small number of British species actually hibernate, and this little male has spent all summer fattening up for this precarious time. And with one last meal, and a wash, he'll sleep until the return of spring. With every passing year, I relish these seasonal treats. I'll watch the leaves fall and winter take hold once again. But I will always keep looking out my living room window and cherish the memories of the summer and my English oak.